Hi guys, I'm back again. Uh, as promised, um, I am uh, going to show you uh, how to uh, build an aquaponics system. But before uh, doing such system, we need to have uh, what we call a uh, hydroponic system. But in, in my case, I don't have a hydroponic, so I want to build one and I want to show you my build. So let's visit the uh, planned site for my hydroponics. Okay, so let's go. So as you can remember, uh, this was a uh, an area where my fish tank was located. And for those who cannot remember, uh, now it's the time to subscribe and to revisit the video where I uh, installed my uh, two fish tanks in this area. Okay, so now it is spacious. Okay, but I uh, left the uh, some tank here because uh, what I uh, plan to do is to install another uh, tropond in this area. And uh, but for the meantime, um, I'm planning to put up a hydroponic system uh, located just beside it. So this one. So as you can see, this is a recycled uh, wood from the stand of my fish tank before and I will use this as a stand for my hydroponics and these are uh, plastic containers which are already uh, used and will be recycled for the setup so as you can see there are holes uh, in the uh, container this will serve as an outlet for the water okay and uh, what I'm planning to do is to uh, make this a serious type of a um, flood and drain aquaponic setup or grow bed okay and this will serve as my uh, siphon for the four containers so I don't know if this will work but let's just see about it okay so we're back with uh, our uh, flooded drain uh, setup so I already uh, connected all the uh, plastic containers together and uh, here below there are already pipes connecting the four containers and uh, this is not yet final. I uh, just uh, had a um, sort of a short pipe there. But uh, what I will do is uh, I will cover that with a uh, plastic screen so that the gravel will not uh, go inside. And I have here uh, a T siphon. I replaced the uh, bell siphon because uh, for how many attempts I cannot uh, perfect the uh, bell siphon so i uh, use a t siphon and uh, yes um, i'm uh, running already the uh, system and uh, as you can see the uh, t siphon is uh, already initiated and the water is uh, already uh, flowing down and uh, i already tried this one and it uh, lasted for about two minutes and 48 seconds and as you can see the water is flowing so what is happening here the water is being lifted by the T siphon or being siphoned by uh, this tool and then uh, it will drain the whole uh, grow bed and the water will be dumped in the sump so as you can see it is already initiating and yeah that's it it's already dumping the water so what will happen the four grow bed will uh, drain down as the uh, water continues to cycle so as you can see the level of the water from here it will go down up to uh, 10 centimeters So as the water continues to go down there the water here comes from the first bucket or from the first container which uh, travels uh, to all the containers 
and uh, as you can see now the siphon is starting to uh, um, finish the water and the water level is going down and you can hear the sound of the tricking water once the air um, enters our siphon it will stop the uh, siphon of the water so as you can see there's that's the uh, lowest level that uh, will remain in our grow bed so uh, that's the end of the siphon and uh, it will stop there it already stopped so that is approximately uh, less than three minutes and I tried cycling the uh, water it will last up to almost three minutes also to uh, fill up all the grow beds and start the uh, siphon again or it will initiate after three minutes so meaning to say in every three minutes there is uh dumping of water in the sump tank and uh, in every three minutes the water rises at a certain level and then it will go down so what will happen here is that water will rise and after three minutes it will go down so that is how a uh, flood and drain system works so for my um, hydroponic system for now i will use this one so what will be the next step? The next step will be um, filling this with the uh, gravel, okay? So before I fully uh, fill these uh, containers with uh, cracked stone or rocks, uh, I want to show you the plastic screen that i am saying this will hold or will keep the stones or the rocks from falling to the pipes so this is situated at the bottom of the grow bed and uh, this will keep the rocks from falling why did i decided to put this type of screen here because um, i want the water to fully circulate and um, drain down the system and uh, travel to the other containers so uh, i went to look for uh, any available material and i found this one since this is plastic uh, this is good for the setup uh, because i don't want to use a uh, screen which is a steel screen and everything must be plastic okay so I will continue to fill this with the rocks and I will show you what will be the outcome and the final output of the flood and drain setup of my hydroponics. And now we are done filling our grow bed with the gravel or the crack uh, stone. And uh, I uh, installed here a uh, pipe for me to see the water level because uh, the water level in here is still the same with the four containers or the four uh, grow bed and i uh, started to cycle the water or to start the um, cycle for the uh, setup and uh, as you can see the uh, be, uh, the uh, uh, t siphon is initiating and starting to uh, dump the water The gravel is still wet on top because uh, we have here a bad weather as of the moment and um, yeah if uh, in an ordinary day uh, most likely the top portion of the grow bed is uh, will uh, will be uh, dry since the water will not reach the uh, topmost level of the grow bed and um, as you can see the water is still murky uh, it is due to the gravel that uh, we filled into the grow bed. I already finalized the setup 
and I already uh, installed some uh, um, cable tie for our hose so that it will be fixed here for our um, pump and uh, yeah this will be the setup of our hydroponic system So what will happen with our hydroponic system after this one, after installing the, uh, the grow beds and the uh, siphon and the sump tank and everything else in the system, um, uh, the next step is to uh, put the plants but uh, since I still have no seedlings to install or to plant in the grow bed, um, please stay tuned to the next uh, video clip that I will be uploading. It will be all about the uh, planting of the uh, seedling in our grow beds and how will I um, connect this hydroponic system to our aquaculture system or to our recirculating aquaculture system so that's it for now and uh, thank you for watching bye